By popular demand, we have the Juggernaut 270 roller frame made out of steel. Obviously, the benefits of one of these things are pretty amazing. It can get right in close to the wall. Right in close. Look how close I've got. Right in there. They're indestructible, made out of steel. You can never wear this out here like the plastic ones. Just to put your roller pole in, it's, it's just uh, solid as a rock. This is years and years old, this frame. Now, however, they do come in adjustable ones, but this here is a fixed one. They have fixed in 270 and um, right out to the bigger sizes. Uh, personally, I wouldn't buy any bigger than this one here uh, as a fixed one. I would buy the adjustable ones, thousands of kilometers of walls with these. So that's basically what they are. You've got your two ends, which you need. And we've just got a normal 270 roller sleeve that you buy at the local store with the end in. So we're going to fit this to this. We're just going to get a roller pole. It's got the end in. We're just going to pop out the end so we have nothing there. It's hollow. Look through it. We're just going to pop these in here. Now this is a worn roller sleeve. Now I use worn out ones. Now you're thinking to yourself, how the hell am I ever going to get that out? Well, that's another video. Once we've done that, we just basically slide it on here. You could put a little bit of oil on here if you want to. All right, just a drop of oil, um, lubricating those things there, if you want to. But I don't think you have to, but if you want to do that, you can do that. Now, this is where most people have the problem, because this is the setup of it. It's got a little catch in there, and it hooks in there. Um, Sometimes you might have to, when you buy them new, you might have to bend this here with a pair of pliers, vice grips, or in the vise, or something to get the shape that you want. But this is how I put it on. I push this down here, and then need to get that down into this little groove here. Get a hammer. I'm gonna, just going to cheat a little bit here. Oh, they're strong. You're not going to hurt anything. That's got him. Okay, so as you can see there, what I did is I just give that a hit, straighten this out a bit. Because it's been in the truck, it hasn't been used for a while. Right here, so we've got the angle there now. We're going to bring this down. It probably won't work now. We're going to pop him underneath that there. See? I'm going to close him up and that's it. As you can imagine, a drop of oil in there wouldn't hurt. We might actually go and just do that. We'll put a drop of oil in it. Into there. So these juggernauts here are the ones that I mainly use. As you can see, they're pretty bloody good too, but they actually have a, I put a, um, a brass washer in these ones. There's quite a few here. This is them there. Another one there, that looks like a fairly new one. I normally leave a frame on. I put it on and I'll leave it on. And I don't take it off. Oh, I need to get a tray out from here, somehow. Now hopefully that's helped you on how to fit these things here. They are a pain in the royal butt, but once you do it, once you fit it, you do not have to take it off at all. And um, it's gonna be everything you want. If this is a little bit loose here, you can take a little bit of tape like this, put around your roller pole, there, and you can screw that in there, then that will never move. That is bulletproof. Good thing about this is you can go right over to the edge, very close. The weight is evenly distributed. So this is a juggernaut fixed frames. If you happen to break this here, 
it's two seconds with a welder and you'll weld that back on and then you'll have a roller frame again for the next 10 years.